All right, let's get hype for Q Season 3, Episode 9, The Volleyball Idiots. Nen has been awakened. <clears throat> whoop. Whoop, whoop. That's the boy. The moon has returned. <laughs> Look, Yoko. <laughs> Bro, that thing always gets me. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Dude, he's got the the gremlin face. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> Jump some blocks. Damn, that nurse sounded like she was fixing it, like giving him new fingers. I think she's just taping him. Well, yeah, I just meant like it sounded like she was doing a lot of work. Uh. All right. What did he say? Did he say he was dislocated? Damn, mm -hmm. he went too fast. Yeah. Okay. He was bleeding in a dislocation. Okay. <laughs> it's pinky. All right. Yeah, no. We didn't think it was going to. <laughs> I know they moved up, but it was funny because it was like, boop. <laughs> Boop. Nice. Damn, bro. Why that guy just look like getting bigger? Oh, damn. Uh oh. Woo. Oh shit! <laughs> this old man's getting excited. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get it, boy. Damn. Laser focus. <laughs> there you go. Damn right. Damn, bro. Everybody. What was that? <laughs> <Fine>. <laughs> That was weird. Uh, oh, Wakatoshi <laughs> was like this. Uh, he put his hand down. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, 
goddamn. Let's get it, boy. <laughs> Yay! Woo! I'll do it, you crazy fucking madman. You pinkyless giraffe. Oh! <sighs> no, you stop that shit right now. Damn right you do. Let's go. Yes. It's damn right. Says the guy with glasses on. <clears throat> oh, did you think that? <laughs> That's surprising. Let's go. Yes. yes. Nice. That's what I'm saying, bro. Whoa. Oh. Let's go. Just do it enough and you won't feel the pain anymore. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, he's using his ultimate. Fuck. Oh, did he hit the net? He did. Oh. Whoa. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, Yo, Suki though With his busted hand, let's go Oh Yo <gasps> Yo, let's go Yes <laughs> Oh, fuck yes, bro. Hell yes. Wow. Let's go. Oh, what? what? Damn, they saved Why? the timeout, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> They're always hitting us with this, dude. <laughs> Facts. But it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, bro. Oh, Damn, man. bro. <laughs> he was the best. And they just get everybody up there to spike, bro. Tanaka, bro. I love it. <laughs> She's <laughs> yeah, everybody's on the legs. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm always of use.
Oh shit! Wow. Yes. Tell him, Daichi. Damn right. Amen. <laughs> Fuck this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Woo! Wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> <clears throat> Woo! Oh man. <laughs> that old guy's about to freaking keel over, bro. Man, I think it's kind of disrespectful that he gets such a great animation when he <laughs> serves and fucking Asai's is like not even half done. He got a lot of his it's at the like beginning of the show. Disrespect. <laughs> yeah, but not, never that good. Like, his are always that good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Damn. Okay. Damn, bro. They used to be the neighborhood watch, bro. <laughs> now they're like our fucking captains or some shit. Oh, is this going to be the block? He blocked him the last time. Oh, they're going down. Yep. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We just straight up blocked too early. Woo! <clears throat> <laughs> Power up. <laughs> now he's a human. The Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> this guy, bro, with his hands on his head. Yeet. Ooh, that was nice. Tanaka, bro. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Oh, yeah. He's salty, bro. It's not how it works, bro. Oh, here we go. Come on. Give me my boy. Woo, look okay. at that animation, okay. dude. Holy hell, that was sick. Ah! <laughs> yeah, whatever works. Oh. Yep. Is he going to break him? Whoa.
Wow, this is personal. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's li- in a way he's like a weirdly like failed Hinata. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So of course he's Ooh. not gonna like Hinata succeeding because it's like well, <laughs> what does that, that means about that you? yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, they're not, calling him, they're not calling him the jiggler, so I won't. I won't accept that. <laughs> the jiggler, <laughs> the jiggler. Um, <laughs> I don't even care anymore, dude. He's the jiggler. He's the riddler. He's the biddler. He's the tiddler. <laughs> he's whatever he needs to be. Jack the Ripper. <laughs> What's disgusting? What are you they're on about? talking shit about Hinata again? Uh. Because apparently that's all half the niggas in this court can do. <laughs> it's like when he not just starts winning, they're like, this disgusting loser. Yeah. And it's like, dude. How do you sleep at night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, Tanaka, I swear, bro. Tanaka is a literal thug. He's awesome. I'm not convinced he doesn't run a gang. Oh, he's awesome, dude. What? Oh, does his leg hurt or something? I don't know. <sighs> oh. Yeah, he's reaching his... we got to get past this fucking giant... Bro... Come on! Then go! Come on! Oh, fuck. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who <forget>? else? <laughs> oh! Wait, did he get that? That's my fucking king. Yeah, he fucking... Oh, my... <sighs> Oh, that's my boy. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> wow. That's my... Oh. <laughs> Hell fucking yes. <sighs> Let's go. That was sick. <sighs> oh. We forgot that Nishinoya doesn't run out of stamina either. <laughs> it's impossible. God, I fucking love that kid. He not as unserved. Let's do this, boy. Dude, Suki just gonna like be MVP this match or what? Like, because he kind of already is. I was about to say, he, yeah, he kind of already <laughs> has that role. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, geez. bro, he gets sends everyone's aura. Dude. Oh, geez. <laughs> Lev, bro. <sighs> there a bug on his... Oh, it's that beetle. Ew. <laughs> Bro, only, only Lev would not care about that. Yeah. <laughs> I love this dude. Bro. I love him, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh. Yes. 
Bro. <laughs> oh. Dude. Is this not like Suki season? Because I really feel like, wow. All right, let's fucking, let's attack them. Let's kill this shit. Forward. Yep. That's it. That's the episode. You fuckers. <laughs> no. <laughs> doggy. That was oh, good. Damn. I feel like Suki's kind of stealing this season, dude. Not going to lie. Wait, I, wait. I would say he's, I think he stole it. Yeah, he's like MVP honest. of this game. And, I mean, this game is this season. So, I don't know, man. He's, he's killing it out there. Uh, obviously, all the teammates are doing great. In their own way, for sure. But he's getting a lot of the light there. A lot of the limelight. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Uh, interesting to see. It seems like uh, Coach Salty over there is definitely wants to prove a personal point when it comes to Hinata. Because like you said during the reaction, Tanji, if Hinata succeeds, that, you know, it doesn't make Tanji look too good, all things considered. Because he wants to keep using this idea that he was small, therefore he had to rely on someone bigger to fight as a crutch uh, for maybe, I don't know if he didn't go as hard because of it or if he kind of held himself back or put these like glass ceilings above him. Um, but if he not a shatters those, it kind of makes it look like, okay, well, if I had like genuinely not given a damn about my height and all that kind of stuff and gave it my all, could I have been that? But now I'm old and... I'll never know that. So I'm just going to be, you know, rigid in this way of thinking that it's impossible for somebody to do that. But he not is going to prove that wrong. And then he's going to be really upset about it. But, um, <laughs> you know, and he will cry. Yeah, he pro will probably cry. He'll break him. Mm -hmm, um, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I de definitely, um, yeah, like you were saying, it's just, it's it's obviously going to be a, a per it's a personal grudge um, and I, I think it is even like is it, that was that one shot where it's like Okaiwa was like was like saying the same thing that the, the coach was thinking, and then they yeah. both like you know it like cuts them together, and they're like, yeah. it's gross. And it's like I don't the my my thing with with this team, it's n it's that like you I don't know I just I can't, I'm like it's crazy to me that players of a certain skill get this mentality in their head where they're like. Like, you have to clear this line before you're even considered, like, worthy to play volleyball, right? When especially it's, like, you know, you know, it, it's, I don't know, I'm of the philosophy that, like, people like the little giant exist, right? It's not alien, and it's not a remote possibility that just because somebody is small, like, that that factor alone means that they don't have a right to play. Like, they, they there's no conceivable yeah. way that they can compete. I mean, it just doesn't you know, if anything, I would think one of the things that makes you such a great player is being able to understand and adapt under any certain, you know what I mean? And it seems like this, there's, you know, I mean, of course, that is the, you know, that's the, the contradiction here, right? Is, is that's what Hinata's trying to prove. But like, I'm just like, well, uh, the pat in my mind, like the, the passion is what matters most. Because if you know that he wants it this much, it doesn't matter if he's two feet tall or 20 feet tall. He's going to find a way to play and he's going to find a way to make it work. And like, that's what you should be focused on. I just feel like the, you know, and I guess the whole thing is if, 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 for the, if it's personal for the coach, then like, you know, maybe that's where, that's where the bias is, right? Like that his head is, is sort of clouded just in that regards that he, he, he literally can't let, or he doesn't want him not to the win. Cause then it, you know, what does it mean for him? But like, it's like, instead of focusing on that, you know, just focus on, just focus on getting your team to, to up to the best of their abilities, but like all of them, right? This I don't think, I don't know. It's weird because as much as I'm like, I don't think the, the, the philosophy of this coach or, the, or I should say the, the philosophy of this team, how they play innately is necessarily flawed, but I, I feel like it's a lot of like the coach's logic and how this philosophy is applied is what has held them back. Because again, uh, I don't know. I don't think it was in this episode. It might've been the last one. Um, there's a moment where uh, Okaiwa and Iwa are talking and they're talking about like, you know, all right, we're getting into the last set here. They're about to like do their different, you know, th going over each team's strengths and weaknesses or whatever. And they're like, well, we're already, they're already in the, the, the fifth set here. And, and 
Tanji, uh, like, you know, this team, they're not going to switch up their strategy, right? Because they, it, it's sort of that, like, old, dependable, like, you know, reliable, we know what works. And it's like, I don't know. I'm just like, with the, again, I guess against a team like Katasuno, it's like, that's why you're losing those points, though, right? Because it's like, if you're using a strategy that you've just used because you've always used it, even when you're in the blatant regard of something that, like, requires you to adapt and requires you to work around. Like, you've never faced an opponent like Hinata. So, like, how do you combat that if you're not willing to, you know what I mean? If you're not willing to, like, change and mold your strategy to, to compensate that. Mm. But Yeah. I don't think it's as easy as being able to change their strategy, like, on the fly, being that Hinata is a very unusual case. Um, I'd have to assume that a lot of these teams within their practices are not – training for the Hinatas. Now, to be fair, the Hinatas exist, i.e. Hinata, um, but I think it's just because it's so few and far between that, at least the way I interpreted that, they deem that their time, which I would actually agree with, is better spent sharpening the blades that they have at their disposal, uh, whether it be offense or defense, and perfect them to the best of their ability um, in order to hedge their bets statistically against which you know, majority of the teams, um, which has worked, you know, up until this point, because even within that conversation, which I remember the one you're talking about, um, Okaiwa says that Karasuno was probably in the same boat when they were consistently going to nationals. It's just that now, because they've had to, you know, work up from the bottom again, they're more inclined to just try wacky, crazy shit. And uh, I do think that that does inevitably, it inevitably will beat out, uh, a strategy that is tried and true. Um, but, you know, we are seeing this through the lens of the protagonist and the team that's going to win. So it's pretty easy for us to think in hindsight that it's like, oh, if you guys had just thought outside the box and done, you know, been like, like switched up your strategy and done some wacky stuff like Harasuno, that like you guys would come out on top. But looking at it in a, you know, that's in a vacuum, like looking at it statistically speaking, what they've been doing has been consistently putting them at the national level like every year. Um, so it's, it's a hard one to call. I have to hold myself back sometimes because I do agree with you that there is, you know, there is something to be said about being too rigid because then again, you know, you get blindsided by a team like Karasuno and you have nothing to go up against it. You just got to do what you do and hope it's good enough. Uh, so I do see it there, but I do have to pull myself back sometimes and remember that it's, this is a show and we're looking at it through the lens of the protagonist. So obviously the philosophy of that team, uh, they have to go to nationals for the show to continue. So obviously they're going to win. Um, that, that has to be the philosophy that prevails. You know what I mean? But that doesn't always mean that philosophy prevails. I don't know. I think it's contextual. I could go on. It's interesting, but I do think that the coach, uh, as I said before, has a personal grudge and that is something personally, you know, coaching style aside. Uh, I do think that obviously that is a flaw within his character, uh, that he is, he doesn't want, it's not even that he's willing to, he's not even willing to accept that there could be someone that is small, like Hinata, that could pull out ahead because, like we said before, it, it just kind of invalidates everything that he's gone towards. And I guess, you know, like you said, to agree with you, part of that kind of seeps into the coaching uh, with what he does. But I don't know. It's a weird call. I'm curious to know what you guys think, you know, in the comments down below on that one. So that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. We got one episode left, and it is called The Battle of Concepts. So this is really where it's going to come to the forefront here. And uh, we're going to see it all put on the line. Um, it's going to be really exciting shit. That's all I got. Anything else? All right, folks. Make sure you guys are liking this video if you like the video. <laughs> Sharing it as well with your friends because the more the merrier. Commenting your thoughts down below. Subscribe and hit that bell. What did you think of our reaction this episode? What do you think of the philosophies, the coaching style? Uh, for anyone who has played volleyball, I know we have some volleyball players as fans here. Curious to hear your thoughts on that because it could be different depending. Um, or if you're just a sports person in general. Uh, kind of interested to hear your thoughts down there. Also refer down to our description so you can support the show, i.e. our uh, Discord, if you want to chat with some of the brilliant folks there, our main show, the AOA show, uh, subscribe to that channel so you can catch all of our content there and hit us up on Patreon if you want exclusive benefits to the show, as in early access to Haikyuu live reactions, as well as having them in an unfiltered, unedited format, at least to how you see them on YouTube. But until next time, folks, thank you so much for watching. We will catch you on the flip. Peace. Peace. Ninjas are samurais, blaze of the cool knives. Find me in the leaf of the cloud, screaming out Bankai. We just some ghouls though, who like seeing parts fly. They like what you saying, Goma got more through the storylines. I 
Test of your neck from the start. My hunters gon' come for your heart. I promise you'll land in my boulevard. Left them in one piece. No.